Good girl. Here at Michigan State, we work a lot with honeybee bacterial diseases and other pests that affect honeybees. One of the projects we're excited about is working with Maple, who we are training to detect for the honeybee disease American fall brood. It's pretty much the same across the board, whether you're training our narcotics dog or explosives dog. You take the target odor, you present it to them, and through a series of kind of systematic and repetitive training, the dog starts to learn to correlate the target odor with something good is going to happen. Maple, want to get dressed? <laughs> Much like with humans, if a dog is going to be in an active bee yard, they need to wear the same protective equipment as people do. The bee suit is still a work in progress. Um, you can't buy them on Amazon for dogs. I'm going for whatever works the best. There's been some altering and, and testing and that type of thing. She's comfortable and working in it. You know, fortunately for Maple, her drive exceeds her, why am I wearing this suit? Why am I doing this? She also wears boots because quite often in a bee yard, there will be bees on the ground and we don't want her stepping on them. Bring it here, come in. It's a cool project, but I was over the moon excited because my dog would still have joy in her life. The idea with the dogs is that they can work as a screening tool. So we have beekeepers that have, you know, 5,000, 10,000 colonies, and it's very hard to go through them with enough rigor to actually see all of the disease. Our goal is to work with Maple, have her trained up, but really to video and document the whole process and working with Sue to write it up into a book so that other people can use our journey with Maple to train their own dogs to do American fall brood detection or other honeybee disease detection so that dogs can be used as screening tools for honeybee diseases.